This is Marty Stewart with SeminarSecrets.com. You can hear the complete version of this big seminar interview by going to www.SeminarSecrets.com. My name is Armin Warren. I'd like to welcome everyone this evening to the big seminar preview series. This is just part of the series that we've done uh, each and each week up until the seminar. Actually, we do it twice a week. And where we interview, we let you get to know some of the speakers that are going to be speaking at our event in L.A. This is our fourth big seminar, definitely our biggest and our best yet. Uh, there's so many things that are happening with our seminar. We've got a tremendous lineup. Uh, Marlon Sanders is just one of the people that are going to be talking at this at our, at our event. We're going to have people like John Reese, Declan Dunn, Alex Mondosian, Alexandra Brown, uh, Mike Stewart, John Childers, J.J. Childers, um, Carl Galetti, and the list goes on and on. And, you know, all these people are designed to do one thing, and that is to teach you and to take your business to the next level over the course of a three-day period, all done in Los Angeles, California, on October 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And, uh, you know, again, keep that date in mind. Check out the website. Whoever sent you to this call, you received an email from them with a link to a special page for that person. Click on that link. You can see all about the seminar, and we'll talk more about that as we continue this call. But tonight, I'd like to introduce you to someone that has literally changed the lives of thousands of people from all over the world. And uh, this person has done a lot for me, whether he knows it or not. Uh, you know, just one of his products helped me create my first sales letter. In fact, that sales letter is still working to this very day and utilizing his killer sales letter formula. It was just amazing how simple it was. And there's just so many things that he's brought to the table in the world of Internet marketing. And all of you get a chance to benefit from this person in the next 60 minutes. And the person I'm talking about is none other than Marlon Sanders. And Marlon, are you with us right now? Yes, Armand, I am. Thank you for the introduction. And I've got to say that I've learned a lot from you also. And I'm excited about not only being on the call today, but also being able to come to the big seminar and share some secrets that, that are going to help propel people to the next level. Well, Marlon, I know you've been on the Internet, I mean, as, well, I, I hate to say this because it's going to put an age on you, as long as I can remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, since uh, before the, actually the World Wide Web, you know, I was writing a copy at a company when the old Internet, which was all text-based, existed. So Now, let's, let's just talk about that because I, I want to give people a perspective as far as, you know, what you've seen and what you've experienced over the course of the Internet. Now, this is before the World Wide Web, as most people on this call know it today. Um, you know, would you say that it was during the course of the bulletin boards as far as that system type goes? Well, you know, what happened was you had the bulletin boards, and, and then the, uh, uh, the text-based uh, text Internet opened up to commercial activity which had just been a whole thing for the Defense Department and all of this, and it opened up. But it was really funny because I was a copywriter at this company, and I remember he was out, the, the gentleman who was the owner of the company was out speaking at seminars just like we do, and he was promoting the text-based Internet. And when the World Wide Web came along, he said, ah, oh, you know, there's no way that's going to catch on because the graphics are going to load too slow and people don't want graphics, they only want text. And one year later, it just rolled over him. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, 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 you know, uh, we're both copywriters, and we both love text, and we both love sales letters. But let's, let's face it, what's made the World Wide Web what it is is the combination of text and some graphics. Now, and that's and that's really important, you know, because that basic premise, though, of of text being so important, and, and this person that you you were working with. Uh, you know, realizing that text was that important because obviously he was kind of backed into a corner. That's the only thing he had available at the time. But, you know, that same basic premise is what most people forget. Uh, but, but here's today. what I want to bring up about that that's important. So here I am. I'm a copywriter at this company, Armand, and I'm, I'm tucked away in this little cubby hole. I mean, like they brought in the person who became my mentor uh, named Lou Williams. And Lou was taught copywriting like 30 years ago by Thomas Hall, right. who Gary Halbert says was one of his key teachers and so Lou would come in and they wouldn't even get me let me get near Lou I mean he was a high power consultant brought in and you know I remember him and his wife talking about oh they're filing these domain names and I thought ah oh, geez you know I can never I'll never be able to understand that I'll never be able to comprehend that and I remember the CEO of the company demonstrated Eudora for email processing and I thought Oh, I was just so baffled by it. So anyone on this call who's a newbie or a beginner, you know, if, if sometimes you hear terms or you hear things about 
marketing or on the Internet, and it just seems to fly over your head, or you just feel like, geez, I'm never going to be able to do that. Well, don't feel bad, because that's, I know how you feel. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've heard, the, you've heard the joke before, you know, uh, Ten years, uh, uh, I, I couldn't spell the, the word domain name. Now I have many. <laughs> exactly. You know, and, and that's just amazing, you know, because as the Internet has progressed, I mean, I know you've seen a lot of, well, a lot of, a lot of things happen as far as the wor world of Internet marketing goes. Uh, you know, you've, you've been responsible for, for many of them. In fact, one of the things that you've uh, been well known for as far as, you know, at least a big major push in is for the, the e-book industry. Well, yeah, you know, Amazing Formula was one of the first e-books sold online on Internet marketing. Maybe the first. I contend it was the first. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But it really doesn't matter. The thing is, Armand, is, is really not even focusing on the past at all. I mean, I like the past. I've done a lot of things and had some innovations or, uh, along the way and did some innovative things. But really, where people are at, what's important is, hey, you're on this call and you're coming to the seminar at the best time in history. I mean, there is no better time to start than today and right now because, you know, what's happened up to this point, there's been a lot, but sometimes people think, oh, you know, what's the opportunity today? What's the opportunity tomorrow? And I think you would agree, Armand, the opportunity is tremendous, and I think you're going to have people out of this seminar, you're going to have some stars come out of this seminar who really come, really get it, and then do some things that are exciting. Now let's let's talk about the present day of the internet itself. Um, you know, again, obviously you just mentioned one of the major factors that many people think, and that is uh, there's not a lot of opportunity, which we both know is is totally false. I mean, uh, the problem that we have is there's we have too many opportunities, and we don't know which one to, which one to choose. Now, what would you say as far as right now? And this is kind of a tough question, but what would you say is one of the most popular trends that you see being happening right now in the internet? Well, a couple things that you're doing, Armand, and one of them, which you're going to be launching at the seminar, is just going to take the, I think it's going to take Internet marketing by storm and all the people, you know, that, that, that really see what you're doing and, the tech, and what you're, you've created that you're going to launch. Wow, that's big. I think the instant audio is really making it. I mean, I know just today we're working on our order forms. In fact, it's one of the things I want to talk about today is I'm going to tell you about a simple before the end of the call, I promise to tell everyone who was on the call today a little simple 15-second change we made to our order forms that doubled our conversion. But something else we're just working on today is putting the audio, your, the instant audio on the order form being highly directive like you talked about. So that's one of the things. I mean, I see a lot of exciting trends that are coming along. And, you know, change is good. I don't right. know if people realize that. See, change is not bad because change creates opportunity. Right. So all of these new things that come along, you know, some people take the attitude of, oh, geez, you know, gosh, it's changing, and I don't know. But, you know, that's great because if you keep up with the change, that gives you a competitive edge. And that's how you get ahead of the crowd is because there's always going to be the 80% of the crowd are not what's called early adopters. Early adopters, you know, that's, hey, let's get on it. Let's do it, you know, and that gives you an edge over 80% of the other people that you might be competing with. Some other interesting trends. I just saw the, the, uh, one of the statistics the other day. Ebook sales. You know, we think about ebooks and internet marketing. They've been around so long, but ebook sales on the internet as a whole are booming. They're mm -hmm. doing really, really well, and they just keep growing. So I don't think ebooks are going to go away. I think they're going to be lower priced as they are now, but they're certainly not going away. You see all the multimedia stuff. I mean, I look at what Jim Edwards. Is, Jim, Jim is going to be speaking, right, Armand? Yeah, absolutely. We just yeah, I mean, I look at what Jim Jim. Has done. I mean, he taught us so much on how to do the multimedia. I owe so much to Jim. And wow, the stuff that he does is so cutting edge and, and, and innovative that it's just such an opportunity to hear him speak and to see some of these neat things that you can do. Not cutting edge for the sake of cutting edge. Right. That's not where it's at. I mean, we're talking about stuff that you do, and it makes you more money. It increases your conversions. It gets you more customers. Now, one of the things I think that many people, um, you know, don't understand uh, is that technology is great, but most of the technology that's coming out is the way it's being used most effectively is to enhance the basic premises of marketing to begin with. Wouldn't you agree? 
Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I have the push button letter software, your letter generator software. They really hit at the core of what makes people buy, and that's your sales letter and your sales process. But see, the neat thing is, is now to, for people to be able to hear the testimonials. Wow, what a difference. I think everybody on this call, they've heard you on the audio. They've, they've seen the audio testimonials and some of the video stuff you have for the big seminar. It just makes it a lot more credible, doesn't it? And so this is what I think is, is it's, it really creates a wonderful addition to the sales letter. You still have the sales letter. Sales letter isn't going to go away because it's really like, it's kind of like the, the bread and butter. But the neat thing is, is now you've got some cinnamon to sprinkle on there. You have different, you know, you have some nutmeg. You have some really neat things you can put in that mix that increase your conversion. Right. Now, I know you're, you are a huge, huge person when it comes to uh, testing and tracking. And, uh, and, and monitoring your conversion ratio. Um, and let's, let's just talk well, about Well, yeah, behind the scenes, Armand, is people don't really, they can't see what we do behind the scenes. And I may do a product on it sometime. And I think you just, should. Just, well, go ahead. I mean, I, I think you really should do a product on it because it's something, I mean, I, you know, I found that most people just don't understand that process uh, as far as what you do because, I mean, let, let's, let's do it this way. I mean, I, I watch, I mean, more than what you know, I watch everything that you do. And, what, you know, I, I know how many pages that you're testing. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I remember one time uh, that I was just uh, just deleting my cookies and refreshing your page, just trying to count how many variations that you were testing at one time. Yeah, we did a, 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 we did a huge test once on Amazing Formula of every different type of sales letter I could think of. Right. And like right now, what we're t split testing is order forms, and, and and you can't see it because it's all what I call the back office stuff or the back room stuff. But we, we are, it's kind of interesting. Custom wrote this program to make it really easy to see all the conversion ratios of every single order form that we have. Right. And so just at one glance, I can see what's working. So and some of it's counterintuitive. Like I went in and I put my photo on a page, and I did the traditional direct response thing of, yes, Marlon, I want blah, 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 blah. This is what you always traditionally did in direct response. Sure. But interestingly enough, didn't increase conversion. Then we had another page, and all we did was we just changed one sentence on the order form. No graphics, no big, long, you know, paragraph, one sentence, and we doubled conversions. Amazing. And uh, should I tell them what that sentence is, or should we wait till the end of the call? Let's, let's, let's make them, make them wait. I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll... we'll hold off on that. So what we're doing right now is we're testing the, what I learned from you, in fact, I think this is going to be helpful to everyone on the call. What I learned from you just yesterday, uh, you were telling me about what you did with the instant audio, and I really liked it because I didn't really grasp what you were doing. I saw what you were doing, but I didn't understand what you were doing. See, I thought you were using the instant audio when people hit your web page or your order form to give more information. Right. See, and that's where I missed it, because what you explained to me yesterday was, hey, Marlon, it's not about giving them more information. It's about directing them. Right. And that's, and that's the simple part. And, again, what, you know, part of the conversation that Marlon and I had yesterday was very simply is that when you use the audio on your website, you know, many people using it as an information piece, which it's great for. Certainly it works for that. But where, as a marketer, that we're getting the most benefit is simply just telling people what to do. And many times on a website, uh, people are kind of lost as far as what to do. We can make arrows. We can tell them this, tell them that. But if they have an audio piece saying, fill in your first name, fill in your primary email address, and click the button, and then you're going to be taken to our, our sales letter or you're receiving our download, whatever kind of bribe maybe we're using to, to get that person. And that, that alone has just made a huge, huge difference. And, uh, you know, that's uh, – I you know, we and so, see, it's interesting, Armand, because people say – well, and, 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 and see, I have this kind of this dual philosophy because it's kind of odd. On the one hand, I feel that there are, there is nothing new, right? Right. I mean, the only thing that exists in marketing is targeting a group of people, finding out what they want, and giving them a really good reason to buy it today from you instead of someone else. Sure. That's really the only thing that exists on the one hand. So on the one hand, I think it's, it's in the big picture, hey, it's all really simple because that's all you have to do. On the other hand... There's real, there really are secrets. And when I say secrets, I mean things just like you just shared. I mean, we tried it before, but I screwed it up. I mean, I'm like trying to give them all this education. Well, you know, this is Marlon Sanders and blah, 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 blah. And I went in this big, long speech and da, 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 da. And see, that didn't work. Right. 
And then when you told me yesterday, it's so simple. I mean, how long do you think your audio is on your order form now? Oh, may if if it's twenty seconds, it's probably too long. Yeah, your audio was like five or ten seconds. It's yeah, like that's it. You know, fill out the information below. Da da da. da click the submit button. And, you know. <laughs> And you're done. That's it. I mean, and that's it's crazy that just knowing, I mean, just the, see, people don't understand the power of knowing and knowledge and information. And what Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich called specialized information. I mean, Napoleon Hill studied the richest men, men and women in America and found out there were these commonalities. And one of those commonalities is called specialized knowledge. Specialized, and that's what people get when they come to the big seminar. They get specialized information. And just knowing just this one little thing. That, oh, when people come to the order form and they come to the web page on the audio, direct them, don't educate them. Right. Wow, what a difference. Now, you know, you know with this, I mean, because you know, uh, many new people that are getting involved on the Internet, they, they get confused because they hear so many different things from different people. And it's usually the same thing said in a different way. But uh, Oftentimes, yes. But, uh, but, for example, I mean, you've, you've you created a product that really – kind of broke it down for people, and, and I just want to talk about that for a moment, and it's your, your marketing dashboard. And that product just kind of breaks it down into bite-sized chunks for people. And explain to people how that works. Well, you know, it was, it's, it's, it's really kind of a fun thing, and it's also really practical. I mean, you know how when you get your web hosting, you have the little control panel there, and you right. click on the little icons? Yeah. Or most web hosting has that. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. And I saw that there were some companies out there, non-internet marketing type companies, that had dashboard with little icons, and I thought, wow, this just really is what I want, you know, because it's so easy to get overwhelmed, and so, you know, the idea was we have a little six-week program, six icons for each day of the week, right? Right. And you click the little icon, and we got big numbers, big giant blue numbers, one, two, three, four, or right. one, two, three, and that's what you do, so it's all about action, and so, see, there's this balance. But to, let me tell you about a couple interesting balances, Armand. Is a lot of life, a lot of marketing is about balancing. So one balance is between knowledge and action. In other words, see, action without knowledge can be really, really, really frustrating. I think we all can identify with that, right? Sure. Like when my brother taught me to ride a bike, he put me on and told me to pedal, but he neglected to give me the specialized knowledge about how you brake. Right. <laughs> so I promptly, much to his delight and glee, uh, crashed over a uh, brick retaining wall thing, right? right. And I didn't have the knowledge of how you put on the brakes. You see, and so a lot of people, that's, that's the problem in Internet marketing is, that, you know, they only got the one part. They didn't get the other part. So this bal there's this balance between knowledge and action. But see, if you, have the, if you have the knowledge and you don't act, you also don't make any money. And so that's really the, the, the balance. And that's the beauty, I think, of the, the nice thing about going to the seminar is, when you network with other people that are doing it, see, that's it. Because when you, what happens when you get around other people who are actually doing it? How, what does that do to you? You want to go out and do it, right? It gives you confidence or belief that you can go out and do it. So that's, I mean, if there was no other reason to go to the big seminar, there's no other reason than just to meet other doers, other people who are actually doing it. Then wouldn't your money and time be well, uh, well worth spent? You know, and that's you know that's been the common theme from every single person that uh, you know every every person I've interviewed so far, as far as our speakers go, and you know that that's my belief as well too is is uh, that seminar. I mean, for example, I mean the first seminar that I went to, and I've told this story many times. Um, you're actually you were one of the first people I met. Um, it was actually at a Ron LeGrand seminar down in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, and, yeah I was the last minute fill in there because. Uh, uh, that was. Uh, I think Yannick couldn't make it. Yeah, it was, yeah. There's a couple people had 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 some last minute things that came up, and and I I spoke. You have just listened to a portion of this big seminar interview. To get the complete version, simply go to www.seminarsecrets.com. Find out how you can attend the next Internet Marketing Big Seminar. And for a very special offer you can't refuse, visit www.seminarsecrets.com.